Hi there, this is Tom at Switch to Linux. Thanks for stopping on by. So today I want to address this question of why another Linux site? Don't we have enough already? Well, the answer is no, or I wouldn't have done another one. So my basic purpose is to help and encourage people to reclaim their privacy, reclaim their hardware. More and more operating systems are collecting more and more data every single day. It's one thing to have data collected about what you search on on Google because I don't have to use Google. But when my operating system is making tabs on me and shipping everything together and sending it home, whether or not I turn on or off a privacy setting, that kind of bothers me. Now, do I know what other operating systems are sending home? No, but it's disturbing enough for me that I can see there's lots and lots of internet connections being made and I don't know why because everything's turned off. So that's why I'm encouraging people to switch to Linux. But why another site? Well, I wanted to build a site that was focused more on some of the simpler setups, some of the simpler systems. I don't want to have a system like a site where everything's so deeply complicated because my goal is really to get people to start thinking outside of the Windows and outside of the Mac universe a little bit more particularly where it comes to running their own personal systems if you come home at night and you surf the internet and you check the emails and you look at pictures and you do that kind of stuff I really encourage you to use Linux for those types of things I think you'll be a lot happier you'll have a lot more control you'll have a lot more privacy and you know all those features that you do like the sharing back and forth you can still do on a Linux system but the difference is you have a lot more control over what you can do now all that being being said understand this the world runs on Linux all these smart devices the computers and the cars uh, pretty much everything in the world outside of desktop computers and laptop computers run Linux uh, including your tablets and your phones uh, Android is a Linux operating system um, the iPhone is built on top of Unix like the Mac is Mac is also built on top of Unix which is very similar to Linux so all that being said the one place where Linux has not taken over is the desktop computer and I help to do that to, to help reverse that now I think there's a couple challenges one is that people think Linux is extremely complicated and extremely difficult to use and I promise you that's not the case even the computer I'm recording this video on is running Linux Mint and Linux Mint takes no configuration outside the box it is absolutely great it's a wonderful bridge operating system now some hardcore Linux guys don't like Linux Mint quite as much that's okay I encourage you to switch to anything that gets you away from the big two operating systems just to give you some thinking about, about what it does you can learn some differences about different distributions of Linux and then move on so my basic goal here is to help people move on to another operating system by answering some of the basic questions by doing some tutorials that things with that is not terminal focus now I think the terminals great I use it a lot I do a lot of development on on servers using the SSH commands so I know how to use that terminal but I realize a lot of people are kind of scared of the terminal and I get that you know I like doing things through a nice clean user interface I enjoy that uh, most people do if I say hey here's the best operating system in the world you have to learn all these type in commands and sit at a, com a computer with a black screen and white text that kind of scare people uh, I get it uh, and a lot of the tutorials that we find on Linux do use way ton of terminal lines and there is a section on this site dedicated to learning the terminal I think it's very important to learn the terminal but I want to stress in these videos and on this site that the terminal is not absolutely essential for everyday function and working of Linux I want to address these questions how does a basic person who's used to a user interface who's used to Windows who's used to Mac how do you switch to Linux easily how do you uh, try out the different operating systems. How do you make a production computer that you can work on? How can you make an entertainment system that you can play on? These are the systems that I wish to address in this site, and that's why I think it justifies building yet another Linux website.